Flying by hang glider over Angel Falls in Venezuela next Saturday are three fearless adventurers who follow the trail taken by the American Jimmy Angel back in the 1930s. They fly on Angel's wings next Saturday evening at 8 o'clock. A both arms press. Two, three, four. This Monday, five, Survival of the Fittest takes a look at the new fitness seven, culture through the people eight, that do it the industry behind it, and the ideology that fuels it. Does the exercise boom reflect the desire to control your own life, to relieve stress, to provide a social retreat? And are corporate fitness programs about breeding the right type of body for the employer? News from home, Survival of the Fittest, this Monday night at 11 on 4. Today, on the 30th anniversary of the anti-apartheid movement, police once again tear-gassed demonstrators in South Africa. Tonight, on After Dark, a Hampshire property developer who is about to emigrate to Pretoria meets a black prison warder turned detainee, Steve Biko's biographer Donald Woods, and Cape Town-born jazz pianist Abdullah Ibrahim. Not the sort of TV discussion you're used to. That's After Dark, 11.25 tonight, Channel 4, live. Playwright Peter Barnes makes a welcome return to television with tonight's four-play trilogy next this evening. In the first play, Jack Shepard is a pure white leghorn chicken and Daniel Massey, a prize Jersey giant, who find being men more than feathers can stand. A touch of zen finds a judo instructor confronted by two new pupils not immediately suited to the physical disciplines involved. Finally, a farce in treble darkness finds two lovers in an hilarious confrontation with a returning spouse in Not As Bad As They Seem. And that's foreplay, and it follows in a couple of minutes. <laughs>
Bourne for Peter Barnes' trilogy of very different, witty and thought-provoking plays form tonight's foreplay. <laughs>